we've seen based on the lifestyle of some of the biggest YouTubers, it's quite a lucrative business. For example, Ryan from Ryan's Toy Review making tens of millions of dollars, potentially hundreds, before he's 10 years old. Wild. And some of these YouTubers like to spend their money on expensive things, such as flashy cars, clothes, and jewelry. Large homes and expensive habits as well. Not that I'm judging by any means, I'd like to do the same thing, but maybe not to the extent of some of these guys. Either way, some of these YouTubers also like to give back, as we've seen time and time again with Mr. Beast and David Dobrik, to name a few. To no surprise, they're both included today as we count down the top 10 YouTubers that gave insane gifts to their fans on In From Overload. Smash that like button, let's go. Starting us off at number 10, David Dobrik. We know David Dobrik here is the king of giving away Teslas. Over the years, we've seen David give himself a Tesla, give one to his girlfriend at the time, Liza Koshi, and of course, almost all of his friends. So to no surprise, he's obviously given out a Tesla to a fan before, right? I mean, yeah, he has, but that's not the gift we're gonna be talking about in this video. Figure that's kind of like low-hanging fruit. It's like everyone knows about it. Instead, we'll be talking about the time David gave his fan not only a car, although it wasn't a Tesla, but an entire makeover too, just to impress their crush. Talk about a good guy, eh? I wish David would do that for me. So long story short, David and the crew ran into a few fans at Target, and after taking a photo together, they got to talking. Somehow it was revealed that this fan wanted to impress his crush, but was friend-zoned, so David took it upon himself to give the 18-year-old fan a haircut, a suit, some flowers, and a rented beautiful red Mustang. Only thing is, the Mustang wasn't rented, and the fan found out he was the new owner of the car after his first date. Talk about a hell of a day. At number nine, we got Logan Paul. Well in LA vlogging back in 2017, it seems a few fans made a trip in hopes of, I guess, running into him. I'll be honest, I watched the entire vlog, which if you guys watched Logan Paul's content back in 2017, that's 14 minutes I'll never get back. Regardless, towards the end of the vlog, Logan is just outside with a bunch of fans, and two of them start telling him that they drove in from Colorado just to meet him. Again, I don't know if they just got lucky running into him, or maybe he had some sort of like meet and greet of sorts that wasn't mentioned in the vlog. Who knows? Either way, these two guys just straight up tell Logan they want him to tattoo them, which would be a first time for both parties. The guy getting the tattoo had never gotten one before, and obviously Logan had never tattooed someone. So they would end up going to a tattoo shop, and Logan would tattoo Logang on this guy's ass. Talk about a gift. On to number eight, Saffron Baker. The YouTuber with 2.5 million subscribers decided to get into the holiday spirit back in December of 2018, and gave a couple of her fans a gift they'll likely never forget. It was her. Baker decided she was going to quite literally wrap herself up in a box and surprise some of her biggest fans. Now there is some more context behind this video, which makes it all come together. Although technically Baker surprised a few fans, it wasn't random at all. The video was done as a collaboration with another channel, Dad vs. Girls, which of course is a family vlog channel. I'm not sure who initiated the surprise, but these two channels decided to work together to make some great content, while also likely giving the girls one of the best gifts they've received to date. As you can imagine, when they opened the box and saw the surprise, they were over the moon, with one of them even crying tears of joy. Number seven, Joey Graceffa. It seems Joey here brought in a pregnant stray cat, or that's what I got based on his video title. I gave my stray cat away to a fan. From what I got, it seems Joey takes in pregnant cats on a regular basis because he's got a lot of videos where there are either pregnant cats, kittens, or both in his thumbnail. Maybe it's all animals because his about me mentioned dogs and his cover photo is mostly him with dogs. A lot of his content is dog based too, but that's besides the point guys. Obviously I don't watch Joey, but maybe I should start. Going back to what he gifted to a fan, well, I'm sure you guys can figure it out. It wasn't a dog though, it was a cat. It seems Joey brought in a pregnant stray cat and cleaned her up, taking her to the vet and all to make sure she had a clean bill of health. Following the birth of her kittens, which unfortunately it seems didn't make it, Joey then decided to give one of his fans the stray cat. It seems he just couldn't keep her given that he's already got a few little fur buddies of his own. The fan who got the cat actually commented on the video as well, thanking Joey and letting everyone know she's been a great addition to her cat family. Number six, Michelle Carr. Now, I won't lie guys, this is something that I kinda wanna do, so I was debating putting Michelle on this list because she's kinda stealing my thunder but that's all right, just don't bring it up when I copy her, please. So Michelle shot a short film back in the summer of 2018 at a high school in Pennsylvania, shout out Philadelphia, and the production decided to cast some local students as well to be a part of it. One of those students was a fan of Michelle's, nicknamed Dice, who was given a small supporting role in the film. Unfortunately, while on set, Michelle found out that Dice was being bullied by some other students, so she wanted to do something special for him. This led to her not only flying him out to LA to hang with her, but he actually got a full makeover and attended the short film's premiere at the famous Chinese theater in Hollywood. We're talking a suit and tie, haircut, the whole shebang. He also got to the fun tourist things like a tour of Warner Brothers Studios and the Hollywood sign. Two things I didn't do in LA, which I'm not regretting at all. Halfway at number five now, Nicolette Gray. Now you guys may remember the name or the face because Nicolette, although she is a YouTuber, really started to get her name out there after being on Dr. Phil. Yeah, she was the one complaining that her allowance was only 5,000 bucks a month and all that fun stuff. Growing up in Beverly Hills, clearly with a silver spoon, Nicolette loves to just spend money. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I'm just being a jealous 
Either way, Nicolette had a little contest where she offered to fly out a fan and go on a $10,000 shopping spree with them. I guess it's only like two months allowance. When all was said and done, it seemed Nicolette was actually buying more things for herself, but she got the fan a Louis Vuitton purse and a top from Chanel or Dior, one of those stores that probably cost more than my entire wardrobe. If you look at videos of me back in 2016, 2017, when I first worked at IO, I think I wore this shirt from Banana Republic. That's how long I've had this shirt. I don't care. On to number four, Lily Singh. Taking to Twitter back in 2017, Lily, who's also been referred to as Superwoman, although it seems she's now distancing herself from that brand, asked her Twitter followers what challenges they're currently facing. To no surprise, countless fans started to reply to her tweet, and a few of those fans actually heard from Lily, who ended up sending them money to pay for said challenges. For example, one fan tweeted out just to vent, not expecting anything would come of it. Speaking with BBC, the fan named Uma from Malaysia explained, I usually bottle things up, but I told her how my mom was going through some health issues. I wasn't expecting anything from her, I just wanted to vent out the problem, and then suddenly my phone blew up. Lily said she would love for me to take my mom out for a night to have dinner and fun as her treat. The fact that she took time out of her day just to connect with her fans and to help my mom out, that meant so much. Singh also covered the cost for another fan's exam, tweeting out, I googled it and I think the test is 150 bucks. Start studying, sister, because I'm getting it for you. Someone will reach out. The fan named Claudine explained, I have spoken with her team and I will receive the money in a couple of weeks when I'm ready for the exam. I feel like this is a dream. Moving on to number three, Jenica Lopez. Lopez gave her fans potentially one of the best gifts known to the human race, a trip to Disneyland. Heaven on earth, folks. For all we know, maybe Disneyland is what heaven really is. Either way, guys, Lopez did a giveaway to invite a couple subscribers to join her for a day at Disneyland. And although it was originally planned to happen back in December of 2018, unfortunately, weather was a factor, which led to them all getting together closer to April of 2019. The vlog itself is a lot of fun and makes me incredibly jealous for not being able to go there on a daily basis. I also feel now is a great time to admit that I am not actually a human being and instead was created thanks to the imagination of Walt Disney. That's why I love Disney so much. You all say I look like a Disney character. So that was kind of the joke I was going for. Like the Prince Eric. I was born in Disneyland or Disney World because I'm not human. I'm Walt Disney's imagination. All right, hopefully I didn't kill the joke. Moving on to number two, Landon Do Not Sing. Real name Landon Dallas Sing. I mean, how could I not include this guy? Do you know what he gave away over the holiday break? And I'm not saying that because he's my boss. Maybe a little bit. All joking aside, guys, for those of you who don't know, Landon actually did give away a ton of amazing gifts to his fans and subscribers over the holidays. We're talking about numerous gaming consoles such as Nintendo Switches, PS5s, and Xbox Series X which I didn't win any of them, but that's okay. On top of this, he also gave away thousands in cash, and it's not like this was a random one-time thing. Landon does giveaways every year, and he probably doesn't even know that I'm including him on this list, so next December when you enter to win, let him know I sent you. And if you do win, you're welcome. Send me a gift, maybe. Or don't. In at number one, Mr. Beast. I mean, this guy is the king of giving things to his subscribers. Whether it's an entire island, cash, a new car, a house, a gold bar, a million subscribers. I mean, Mr. Beast seems to have given away everything at one point or another. And that's really how he built his brand up to what it's become today by being such a generous guy. If you go to Mr. Beast's channel and just type in, I gave away, the videos that come up are endless. Some show him giving money to complete strangers, while others are challenges that see the winner get an island, as I mentioned before. All in all, Beast has likely given out the most amount of gifts and things to fans and subscribers, which is exactly why he's been able to grow the channel to the heights it's reached. Well, that's one of many reasons. Work ethic is also a huge part of it, and this guy worked harder than anyone I know. Not anyone I know, but a lot of people. And there you guys have it for the top 10 YouTubers that gave insane gifts to their fans. Let me know your thoughts down below. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video. Top 10 influencers that ended their career in seconds. R. Jane said, petition to strip this category of humans of the title influencer. Sure. I don't care. I mean, but there are good influencers. You know, it's like we just talk about the bad ones, but there are very good ones that influence people to do good things, you know? So, Alyssa Locke said, it's scary how disconnected to reality these people are. It is very scary. Specifically, Alex Jones. Some of the things he says are just like, like, ah. ah. Lenny Voss said, is it just me or does Jared look like a hotter, manlier version of Prince Eric? Well, you know, I mean, I don't wanna, I could hit you guys with the smolder if you want. I could hit you guys with like a little. Is that what he does? I don't know. But uh, that's why I, I'm actually glad you commented that because it makes the whole Disney joke make a lot more sense now because you guys say I look like Prince Eric or Lord Farquaad, whichever one's funnier. All right, guys, that's all for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronson. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah.